90 Day Fiancé star Kareem Martins chewed Paul Stale up and spit him out. Will he ever recover from their troubled and dramatic relationship? 90 Day Fiancé features some troubled cast members, but few seem as destroyed as Paul Stale, whose turbulent relationship with Kareem Martins made all of his problems worse. While drama in the franchise lights up screens with Paul and Kareem, some scenes were actually disturbing. They were never on the same page. Together, they're disastrous. Separately, they're still problematic. Now that their relationship's over, Paul has to pick up the pieces. So much damage has been done. Paul recently went missing in Brazil and luckily he was found. That incident raised eyebrows, mostly because Paul's such an erratic person. Some fans wondered if his disappearance was a publicity stunt. He's done sketchy things in the past that called his judgment into question. Kareem's actions after he went missing were weird. She posted about life insurance, coming off like a wannabe black widow. This couple share two children and their defects of character have led them astray. Unfortunately, their kids are paying the price. It's definitely for the best that Paul and Kareem aren't together anymore. But what happened to the stale family is sad. When Paul and Kareem fought on video, she was shown getting physical with her mate. This heated argument had long-term consequences. Because there was violence, they lost custody of their two sons, Ethan and Pierre Stale. Now, Corrine's trying to rebuild her life. She's making changes that may allow her to get her boys back. Corrine got a night job at UPS. She's earning over 20 bucks an hour and seems to like her job. Paul's not getting it together the same way. It seems like it's harder for him to function in society. She always seemed like the stronger one. Corrine's a tough cookie. Paul would probably have benefited from having a softer, more nurturing partner. He's an anxious person who's gotten into trouble in the past. He found it very difficult to provide for his family due to a criminal record. It was hard for him to get hired because he'd been convicted of second-degree arson. Paul burned personal property in order to scam an insurance company. His criminal record's his responsibility, but Kareem didn't help him to grow as a person. She seemed to trigger him. Once, on screen, he ran off after she fought with him. He didn't seem to know where he was going or what he was doing. Paul doesn't handle stress very well, and Kareem brought plenty of stress to his life. Paul goes out of his way to make Kareem seem like someone who dates a lot of guys. In the past, he suspected that his Brazilian partner was betraying him. In fact, he went so far as to get a paternity test for one of his sons, Ethan Stale. He doubted that the child was his and actually went on to post the paternity test results at OnlyFans. What was so crass about the whole thing was the fact that Paul and Kareem profited from making the test public. That was Paul and Kareem's mistake as she let it happen. With regard to his doubts about her fidelity, maybe Kareem gave him good cause to worry. She never seemed to love him. In 2021, Kareem was accused of cheating on Paul with a criminal. Kareem leaned into her villain persona by allegedly dating a man who may have made terrorist threats. His rap sheet was reportedly long. The guy's name was Jason. In another troubling incident, Paul rambled about an assassination plot against him, which involved a man who provided translation services. Paul really thought the man planned to kill him. And that mail was linked with Kareem. Paul seems paranoid at times. It's unlikely the translator wanted to murder Paul. However, nothing's impossible. That being said, the alleged plot was never proven to be real. Since Paul was so concerned about Corrine's faithfulness and also thought she was entangled with someone who wanted to end his life, she clearly wasn't giving him much peace or joy. Now that he's single, he may resent Corrine for posting sexy shots on Instagram. Even though she's trying to get her two sons back, she keeps adding provocative posts. She's turned off her comments. Is she trying to get a rise out of Paul? Kareem once asked her followers if they wanted to watch her and Paul have sex on screen. She's a bit of a wild card as Kareem didn't even seem to be joking. She and Paul never went through with that, but Kareem seems like a sexually bold person. Sometimes that really bothered Paul. He may have felt that Kareem was just using him to get on TV. He didn't have any money, so she really wasn't a typical franchise gold digger. Nonetheless, she could have had other motives for staying with him such as clout chasing. Now, Kareem's really coming out of her shell on Instagram, but Paul seems to be shrinking into the shadows. He's retreating while she's fighting. He wants his kids back too,
but she seems to be doing more practical things to make that happen. Paul may need time to heal. He kept trying to make things work with Corrine, and Paul may secretly be heartbroken. If he didn't care, he wouldn't have gotten so jealous 90 day, fiance star Paul isn't a happy person. Maybe in the future he'll find ways to enjoy life more. He might benefit from therapy since he's been through a lot. Paul's lived in poverty. He had a partner he couldn't trust. He lost his children. Those are great losses that will psychologically scar a human being. Corrine wasn't the rock that Paul needed. She hurt him and Paul may never be the same.